In this video, we are going to talk about the Pathfinder. It's a new feature that Zoho released not too long ago. If you have early access turned on on your system, you will be able to try and use the feature. If you don't, you will need to wait for the public to receive it. If we are your Zoho partner, you can also use us, contact us free of charge, and we will try to hook you up with the feature. And if you like us to be your Zoho partner, in the description below there is a link. Of course, it's all free of charge and we will be happy to represent you. The Pathfinder is a very unique tool that is great for very specific business owners. Most business owners out there, they are just okay to run their business. They don't really care about growth, analyzing their business, and that's fine. There are some business owners that really want to excel. They want to grow their business, learn from mistakes, want to improve their system based on the existing behavior of their employees. This tool is exactly for those people. I created here a very, very basic scenario. This tool can do much more, but I'm just trying to teach you how to use this tool in a very basic way. Let's say that leads coming in and those will be considered as new leads. We are trying to attempt to call those leads, but they are not answering us. So lead comes in, I'm trying to give a phone call to this lead, but he is not answering. This is what I'm trying to create here, this journey. And I like to know eventually from the people that I'm trying to call and they're not answering me, obviously I will try to call again in the future, but I like to know eventually how many of them will be ending up as converted leads, which means I proceed with them in the deal process and how many of them will be lost lead. And that will be probably after I'm trying to call for five times. The Pathfinder is allowing me to do exactly that. It's allowing me to take a scenario, some kind of a, a journey, and see basically the numbers of what's going on. Let's jump back to the CRM and let's create our journey. So you will need to go to the settings and then you will need to go to the command center and then you will go to the pathfinder. And let's create our first pathfinder and we'll write here new lead to uh, lost lead path. And let's create it. Now, first of all, you need to create a state. A state will be, let's say, that a new lead came in. That will be a state. So I will create on that and I will write here new lead. And then I will need to create a touch point. A touch point will be basically the trigger when this new state that I created is going to be triggered. And I will create a new touch point and then will be when a record is created. Basically when a lead specifically is created. I will apply it to all the layouts. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, I really recommend you buy my course. I have a Zoho CRM course. It's pretty good. Over 10,000 students, maybe more right now. But the point is that we're learning how to do different things in CRM. And this is very much similar to blueprints and workflows. The identifier will be which field in the record is going to identify the lead. In my case, it will be probably or a phone number or an email. And in this case, I will go with an email. So the email of this lead will be the one that will connect all the dots. And that's good when you are going to run those pathfinders on multiple modules. You jump from the lead to a quote, to a deal and so on. And then the email will be the one who is basically gluing everything together. So when a new lead comes in, that will be uh, uh, the first state. The second state will be that I tried to call, but there was no answer. And that will be the attempt to call. And I am going with the first attempt. So the touch point will be that when the lead status is being changed on the leads and let's write here again the email is going to be the glue but the criteria this time 
will be that when the status is a temp to call one, this is when this will trigger the attempt to call. And I will have one more uh, state and that will be a lost lead. And the touch point will be when the status is edited. And again, same glue. And the lead status is lost lead. Okay, and that will be, for example, just one scenario that I'm creating. And you can create, of course, more. Now, when I will go to the report, you will see that until now, no lead was matching this uh, scenario. So let's go ahead and create us a new lead. Okay, so we'll write here the lead. And I have the email on the bottom here. Okay, so the lead was created. Of course, I got a notification. And that means that I need to take action right now. And you can see also that it went into the Pathfinder. Now, let's try to click on attempt to call one. That means that I try to call. And you can see that my blueprint is not allowing me to lose the lead yet because I want my salespeople to try to attempt multiple times. Now in good systems, just a tip for you, in good systems, I don't really trust the salespeople to just click on the buttons that they attempt to call. I actually have a counter that is measuring how many phone calls were made against the lead. And then if, for example, I see a lead with five attempts and two phone calls, obviously there is a problem. So this is a good tip for people that want to track their salespeople. And let's go again all the way to the end of this blueprint and let's click on lost lead. The reason was the price, for example, or availability. And eventually I just finished the entire blueprint. If I will go here to the report, you will see that I have one count. So I have one record that went to the new lead, attempt to call and lost lead. And over time, obviously, this report will get updated with more data. And eventually I am able to report on how many leads came in, lost lead, and eventually they died. Of course, you can make it uh, more significant with more data. And then you can do also how many leads started with new leads. We try to give them a call and eventually they ended up with conversion. And the, the, the bottom line is, if I know, for example, that 80% of the leads that I'm attempting to call for the first time and they're not answering, they will end up as lost leads. Obviously, I will give them less priority than new leads. Or maybe it's the opposite. Again, I don't know. And also every business is, about, is different. You have here also different type of reports that you can produce. And those reports will show you the same data, but in a different way. Now, if I will have about 30 leads that came in, you will see a different numbers. Now, beautiful thing that you can do with the Pathfinder is creating a path that is running across multiple modules, which is very good. You can do, for example, when a lead comes in, all the way to lead was converted, provided proposal, signed an agreement, so you have lots of different ways that you can play with the Pathfinder. It's a very nice tool. I welcome you to try it. If you like the video, thumbs up. Always appreciate it. If you need help with anything, our company is a Zoho Premium Partner. We have hundreds of clients and we'll be happy to assist you as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.